Maple Leafs Nation, baby. We win three to nothing over the Philadelphia Flyers. A big win against a big dog team. And the Leafs snap a win streak for the Philadelphia Flyers, who are now six, three, and two. And the Toronto Maple Leafs, who are eight, five, and one with 17 points on the table. Ladies and gentlemen, that was incredible. What a game by the Leafs to shut out the Philadelphia Flyers, the big brutes of Philadelphia, and the fans were not having it tonight. That's for sure. What is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Garcelle. Welcome back to another video. Toronto Maple Leafs beat the Philadelphia Flyers 3-0, to zip, as I just said, and this was a doozy. Obviously, John Tavares not in the lineup due to a day-to-day -day injury. They're not sure what the injury is. They believe it was something to do with the injury he had before in the offseason, but they're not sure. They're still evaluating that. So Semyonov from the AHL came up and played not in John Tavares' place, but on the fourth line with a couple of the guys like Spezza and Wayne Simmons. And got to be honest, Semyonov, he looked really good in his first couple of shifts. He had some fantastic moves out there. He was moving pretty good with the big boys. Had some good shot chances. He looked like an NHL caliber player. And that was really impressive to me at least for having his first NHL start for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So he looked really good out there. Starting early, Nick Ritchie looks like he's trying his best to mesh with the big boys. Now obviously John Tavares out. Nick Ritchie steps into a big role. Looking to be a big guy in the top six. Finally looking to be the man he wanted to be. It, that he was in the preseason, excuse me. And this was something that Nick Ritchie was working on achieving. Especially knowing that his time was coming. He was going to get bumped up to the top six again. And this time he was. So, big moments for Nick Ritchie. And he absolutely killed it. He had an assist in the game. Seven shots. Played 20 minutes. Like... Unbelievable game from Nick Ritchie. Really improved from the last couple games. And speaking of improvements, the penalty kill in this game, man, oh man, it was by far one of the best things in this game, if not the power play, to be the best thing in this game. The power play was exceptional. Had some really good puck movement in this one. And honestly, this team just looked fascinating. So getting off to the first period, we had a couple guys that were, you know, not being the greatest. And obviously knowing Claude Giroux, he's going to stir up some stuff. A couple penalties here and there. You know, Michael Bunting got a penalty on Claude Giroux. Uh, David Comp, I believe, got one too. You know, a couple guys not so happy with Claude Giroux. The Leafs exchanged it though for a power play. No goals in the first period. We stay square even at 0-0 apiece heading into the second. And in the second period is when stuff really started to sell in for this Maple Leafs team. Started to lose their composure a bit. And I think that was part of Claude Giroux, you know, being able to get into the heads of the Maple Leafs. And that's something he's very, very good at doing. It's something, going back to those Philadelphia Flyers, Pittsburgh Penguins series, that Claude Giroux has done a very good job at getting in the heads of his opponents. And especially the meat-headed, the beef-headed guys that um, don't necessarily have it all out there and I'm not dissing any player but I'm saying the guys that easily get offended or easily get triggered by a player causing some mischief and that was what Claude Giroux was about in this one so knowing that mentality least needed a goal they needed something to shake up the rhythm otherwise this is going to turn into a mess and the Leafs were not going to be without bloody hands at the end of this game if it did not turn around for the Maple Leafs with a goal. And walking up to the middle of the net. It's a good chance. Leafs have a good scoring chance in front. Matthews off to Jake Muzzin. Muzzin passes it in front. William Nylander kicks it in the net. Soccer style. Oh wait. No goal. Well the ref's going to the box. And he's going to go see if this is a goal. Going back to look at the goal. It hits off of Nylander's foot first. Then proceeds to have a kicking motion that looked like he kicked the puck in the net but there was no kicking motion deflection off of William Nylander's skate bang you got your sixth goal of the season punch your ticket it's one nothing 
for the good guys. And after that, it looked like the whole team woke up. Everyone was finally doing well. Thank goodness that happened because this team needed a wake-up call and that has snapped them out of it. The Leafs no longer beefing with Claude Giroux, it looks like. We enter the third period and it is getting pretty good. Bunting, talking to the Flyers bench, trying to get in their heads a little bit. And then the most magnificent power play this season. Great puck movement, as I said earlier. And another gorgeous goal from William Nylander, baby. Austin Matthews to Nick Ritchie, cross ice to Nylander, waits, then takes a shot. Top left on Carter Hart, a PP goal for William Nylander, his seventh of the season. And the Toronto Maple Leafs have a 2 0 lead until Andre Kasha gets his 100th career point as not only a Toronto Maple Leaf, but in the NHL. David Kopp to Kerfoot. Kasha in front with the 1 T. A gorgeous feed to him, and he takes care of a business. 3 0 for the Maple Leafs. They win this game. It is their first shutout against the Philadelphia Flyers at the Wells Fargo Center since 2002 which was held by the one and only Eddie the Eagle at Belfour. So really, really good game for the Leafs. A lot of records broken in this one. You had, obviously, Semyonov playing his first game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. A couple guys like Timothy Lilligren got his first assist with the Maple Leafs. And then Andrej Kasha getting one hundred career point. Really, really good stuff from the Leafs. We had the three stars here. 30 saves by Carter Hart. 33 shots against a 9.09. And 59 minutes and 49 seconds. A time on ice by Carter Hart. Jack Campbell. 36 saves. 36 shots against. A shutout victory for Jack Campbell. 59 minutes and 47 seconds of time on ice for both goaltenders. Playing less than 60 minutes on the ice today. And two goals for Willie Nylander. No assists. Plus one. 17 minutes 45 seconds. The shots in favor of the Philadelphia Flyers by three. 36 for the Flyers, 33 for Toronto. The Flyers, obviously being the brute, big brutes they are, had more hits in this one, 22 to 16. Faceoffs were well in favor of the Flyers, 37 to 27. Not having John Tavares and especially Kerfoot playing on the wing now, we're gonna have a less faceoffs than usual in this. And then we had more penalty minutes, trying to be the more chippy team, especially trying to target guys like Claude Giroux. So. We have a big game coming up, and it's going to be on Friday, November 12th, against the Calgary Flames, the dangerous Calgary Flames, 7-2 and 3 on the season, 17 points. The Leafs also with 17 points, but have played a couple more games, a buck or two over the Calgary Flames. So, yep, we're going to have to see what's going to happen here. Obviously, Jacob Markstrom most likely to play this game. And Jack Campbell most likely to play this game as well. Both goaltenders have amazing stats. Uh, four shutouts to Markstrom's name, by the way. And two shutouts for Jack Eboy Campbell. So, Soupy versus Markstrom. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Obviously, guys like Monaghan have not played well for the Calgary Flames. Austin Matthews has not been playing well for the Leafs. You got a match made in heaven. You got guys like Matthew Kachuk and Marner who have been playing fantastic. nylander has been great. Hopefully, we can get Tavares back for this game. And then the Leafs can do what they do best and take care of business. But anyways, guys, that is all I have to say for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing. Please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Helps me out a lot, guys. And I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching today. I will see you all down at the Scotiabank Arena against the Calgary Flames, 7 p.m. on Sportsnet Now and Sportsnet 1. But anyways, until then, guys, take it easy.